Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'll be doing an unboxing of Redmi Note 8 Pro, one of the best devices of Xiaomi for this year. Now, the best thing about this device is the price point. Now, this device has amazing specifications. I will get into that in detail. But the most important thing is the price Xiaomi is launching this device in. They have recently launched in India for a price of 15,000 Indian currency, which is equivalent to 770 AD, and it is the same price in UAE. But what Xiaomi is giving on this price is something stunning. You're getting 64 GB base variant with 6 GB of RAM, a quad camera setup with the main camera of 64 megapixel, 6.53 inch full HD plus display, a 4500 mAh battery. I really feel that for this price point, this is an awesome deal. Now this is mineral gray color with 6 GB and 64 GB ROM. So before I do the unboxing, I have to tell all my viewers that I'm usually doing most of the new and latest Xiaomi devices unboxing and reviews. So kindly subscribe to my channel and please hit the thumbs up. This will really encourage me. Where you can buy this device in Dubai, you can see the numbers on the screen. Just dial the number and order your device. They have the stock available and they will give you the best price in Dubai. So let's do the unboxing and get to know more about this amazing device. But before I start, kindly subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell icon. So you will get notified every time I post a new video. You get 18 watt fast charger right out of the box and it supports quick charge 3 but the device does support quick charge 4 also. A USB type C cable which is awesome. Of course the SIM ejector tool which is mandatory. Some paperwork and a rubberized silicon case which is awesome. The quality of the rubberized case is quite standard but still it is quite handy because right out of the box sometime you can drop your device so a case like this can protect your device in the beginning and later on you can buy a new case. So basically this is all what you get out of the box. Now let's see the device itself. So this is the device and you can see some amazing specification on the screen. 64 megapixel ultra high resolution camera. There is a quad camera setup which I will talk in detail in the later part of the video. A 6.53 full HD plus dot drop display corning gorilla glass 5 in the front and the rear which is awesome for this price point and this is a bit controversial i will say that the high performance helio g90t is a mediatek processor usually mediatek processor cannot match with the performance of snapdragon this is what we have seen in the past but xiaomi is claiming that this processor is well designed for gaming and high performance but we will have to wait and see how it performs and also i'm sure this is why the price of the smartphone is a bit cheaper because usually the mediatek processor cost a bit less than the snapdragon processor if xiaomi had included a snapdragon 770 on this device i'm sure the price would have been a bit higher than what it is now so we will have to wait and see how this performs and another awesome feature is the 4500 mAh of high capacity battery with the inclusion of 18 watt fast charger inside the box. I think this is tremendous by Xiaomi. I think this is for the first time any Redmi Note series is getting this bigger battery size. Now let's see the device from the rear side. Let's remove the plastic. Now this is a beautiful mineral gray color. I'm not sure if the camera is able to capture this beautiful color. You might mistake it for black but it's very dark gray. It's actually an awesome color. You can see the beautiful quad camera setup. Also at the rear, you can see the fingerprint sensor location. Now recently, Xiaomi was giving with their latest devices the in-screen fingerprint scanner, but for this device, Xiaomi is giving at the rear. Also, you can see the big Redmi logo at the back. So in terms of the design, you have the power and volume rockers on the right side. There is mono speaker at the bottom. You have the good old 3.5 mm headphone jack at the left, a main microphone and the USB type C port. At the top you have the secondary microphone and the IR blaster. Kudos to Xiaomi for again giving an IR blaster option. I think Xiaomi and Huawei they are the two companies which are still giving the IR blaster options. There is no other smartphone manufacturer which is giving these options nowadays. On the left you have the SIM tray. You can use one SIM card with micro SD card or dual SIM card as you like. 
but you do get the dual sim card and micro sd card option with redmi note 8. let's boot up the smartphone for the first time after a small vibration you can see the beautiful redmi note 8 pro logo so the setup is complete now this is the home screen let's increase the brightness and see how the screen looks like now this is a full hd plus display but the good thing about this display it supports hdr content so if you're watching a hdr content i think this display will not disappoint you when you're playing youtube videos on this device you get almost full real estate of the display but there is a small notch cut out and there's a small tiny bezels at the bottom but still for watching media and playing games this is an awesome display with 6.53 inch don't get me wrong the display is decent but if xiaomi had included a oled display this would have been remarkable in terms of the design xiaomi has done a decent job there is very minimum bezels on the side and there is a small chin at the bottom so this is almost a bezel-less display with a small dot drop notch for the front camera but apart from that there is just small bezels on the bottom and on the sides now let's check the sound quality of this device It just has one single mono speaker but the sound output is pretty decent you will not be disappointed the sound coming from this speaker was quite loud it was not that crisp but yes it was quite loud now let's see what this device is running out of the box so as you can see out of the box is running miui global 10.4.2 based on android 9 which is awesome because this is the latest version and it has a security patch of august and already i can see a system update waiting so xiaomi will keep updating this amazing device i'm sure this is the global variant and i will encourage everyone to just buy the global variant skip the chinese variant because you do not get the play store and couple of other things so out of 64 gb of total rom you get 52 gb of rom the rest is used for the system applications now let's talk about the main thing and i'm sure all of you are waiting for that is the camera this beautiful device has quad megapixel camera there is a 64 gb of main primary shooter you have 8 megapixel of ultra wide camera you have 2 megapixel of depth sensor and a 2 megapixel macro sensor now regarding the macro sensor i think it's more gimmicky because 2 megapixel you will not get any detail you cannot enlarge that image so it's pretty useless to be honest on the front of the device you have the 20 megapixel main selfie shooter the selfie camera comes with a lot of xiaomi's awesome features the like beauty mode the ai mode and portrait mode and so on as you can see the picture quality is awesome it can really take some great pictures and videos the beautiful picture is full of details the colors are great so i'm sure the camera can take some amazing pictures i'm not sure about the video quality so this is the 64 megapixel option also you can see the 64 megapixel camera takes a little bit more time than the normal photo because it takes more time for the processing and i'm sure the file size of 64 megapixel will be bigger than the normal photo so there is portrait mode there is night mode there is panorama pro mode for the videos you have the best setting of 4k 30 frame per second it cannot shoot 4k 60 and it does have image stabilization i think this is more like a electronic or digital image stabilization it can also shoot 1080p with 30 frame per second and also it has an option to shoot slow motion videos with 960 frame per second this is awesome now just like all the recent smartphone you can have the normal mode of photo you have the wide angle mode see how wide the picture is and you also have the zoom in picture let's see the results this is the zoom in this is the wide shot this is the normal picture so let's see some sample images and videos of this amazing
let's test the face unlock and the fingerprint scanner of this device. So the face unlock is really fast. As you can see the face unlock is really really fast. So the face unlock speed is really fast. Let's see the fingerprint scanner now. The fingerprint scanner is also fast. So the fingerprint scanner is also very fast and accurate. And also I like the placement of the fingerprint scanner. It's quite convenient to use. And also I must say that setting a fingerprint scanner and the face unlock is really fast on this device. Now let's talk about the processor. This device is running MediaTek Helio G90T processor and Xiaomi is claiming that this is one of the high performance gaming processor and also it offers reduced touchscreen input lag. So you will have to wait and see how does it perform. But while playing PUBG on this device, I did feel that it's really smooth the gameplay. There was very few frame drop. I was playing PUBG on this device in the highest setting and I did feel that it was really fluent on this device i did not encounter any frame drop so the game really played well on this device i can say that it also has a liquid cool technology which also helps to prevent performance drop due to high temperature now considering these points i would say that redmi note 8 pro is designed for gamers and people who use the device for intensive tasks and also this device has an improved wi-fi x antenna which can improve the wi-fi signals even if you hold the phone anyways without losing any Wi-Fi signals. So if you're holding the phone like this or, or like this, or if you're holding the phone like this, still it will not hamper the Wi-Fi signals because of this improved Wi-Fi X antenna. So this is again a good thing. So overall, I will say everything is excellent in this device, except for the processor. We will have to wait and see how does it perform apart from gaming, how is the heat management and everything because so many times Xiaomi claims a lot of things, but it doesn't perform in the actual reality. So we will have to wait and see the performance of this processor. But apart from that, it has an excellent camera for pictures, not for videos. The macro shots are just overhyped. It doesn't perform in real life much. One of the best thing about this Redmi Note series is the battery, 4000 mAh battery with an awesome 18 watt fast charger inside the box. Just go for this device guys, for this price point, almost 15,000 Indian currency and 770 AD, you cannot get a better deal in the market at the moment. This is an awesome deal to buy this device in Dubai, you can see the numbers on the screen. Just call the number, they have the stock available and you can order your device. Also, the smartphone is splash resistant, but try not to take it in the water. This is my advice. There are a few drawbacks. The display is pretty okay, mediocre. The macro camera is just overhyped. The sound quality is just decent, nothing great. The video cameras are good, but not great. The 64 megapixel camera is also overhyped. Try to use the normal camera. You'll be more happy. So that's it for this video, guys. Kindly subscribe to my channel and please hit the thumbs up if you like this video. I keep doing the unboxing of latest and greatest Xiaomi devices. So kindly subscribe to my channel and hit the thumbs up if you like the video. See you soon in my next video. Till then, goodbye and peace out. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the video, kindly hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I will really appreciate that. Also click on the notification icon, the bell icon. So you'll constantly get updated with my new videos. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Till then, goodbye.